Afro Bebaik in Persie in Burkina Faso as a new locomotion of queer people. To work to me is, it's a win-win situation. A lot of people don't know how to ride bikes and uh, they don't follow the rules. And of course, with aerodynamic wheels, the price can be driven up as high as eight, nine, even ten thousand for a production bike. You're on your bicycle, all the same rules and regulations apply as you're driving. Wagadugu in Burkina Faso and Davis in California are two cities that are very distant one another but have something in common. There are bicycles everywhere. Wagadugu is the capital city of Burkina Faso, my home country. A Western African country bordered by Mali, Togo, Ghana, Benin and Ivory Coast. Wagadugu is very famous for bicycles and motorbikes and is called the two-wheel capital in Africa. There are more bikes and motorbikes here than in any other African city. Davis is a small northern Californian town located 15 miles away from Sacramento, California state capital. Davis is also very famous for its bicycle-friendly environment. Although Wagadugu and Davis have bikes in common, they have a very different bicycle story. This is their story from the two-wheel capital city in Africa to one of the most bicycle-friendly cities in the world. The history of bicycles in Burkina Faso dates back to the years 1920s with the arrival of white missionaries. Uh, let us say that the history of a bike uh, in the country of upper people, Burkina Faso, dates back to the era in 1912 with the arrival of white missionaries in the country. Uh, but it is important to know that uh, uh, all the parts of the country of Burkina Faso have not known the bike at the same time. In 1912, for instance, the bike could only be found in the central area of Burkina Faso where white missionaries first settled. Okay, eight years later, I mean, in 1920, the white missionary known as Peter Business went to West Burkina Faso, precisely in Bobo Gulasso, the economic capital city of the country, with a bike. Okay? At that time, Bobo people had never seen a bike. They saw the bike of missionary Peter Business, okay? They came and make a group with the, the missionary, asking him what kind of the it was. The missionary told them that it was a bike. But for Bobo people, uh, this was a special kind of horse because the bike really uh, liked a horse. Therefore, they broke the missionary everything that a horse could eat. One unfortunate thing about bicycles in Burkina Faso is that people tend to consider it as a means of transportation for poor people. Poor, those who are poor are thin, uh, are those who own uh, bikes, okay? Generally, the wealthy, in well to do families, people don't move or on a bike. They have expensive cars. Okay, uh, it is very uh, rare to see a Burkina Bay officials riding a bike. Generally, the bike is perceived in Burkina Faso as a means of locomotion of poor people. As I mentioned earlier, Burkina Faso is so famous for bicycles that the biggest African bike race event is held there every year, called Tour de Faso. On March 26, 2009, I was so excited to come to Davis, one of the world's top-ranked bicycle-friendly cities. The first thing I did when I got to Davis, take a guess, was to find myself a bicycle. The good news is that you can rent a bike at a very affordable price in Davis. I rented my first bike at $90 for six months. The way we do it is uh, we... we charge a very small fee. Uh, it starts something like, let's say, $75 for yeah. a whole month. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it does a lot more long-term uh, rental program. Good news for those who want to bike 
fast with less energy. There are also electric bikes on sale. The rider selects the level of assist and then he just rides the bike as a normal bike. And uh, the sensation is just that your legs are stronger. The, the, the motor pushes you. You push hard, the motor pushes hard. You push um, gently and the motor pushes gently. You stop pedaling and the motor disengages.